What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of Decoding Toxic Narcissistic Text Messages. Today we got a doozy for you. This dude is talking to himself in his ex-wife's inbox, angry at her and trying to make her feel guilty for leaving him. Stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, welcome back, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to hop right into this, y'all. We got a doozy today. We have a doozy. So, I don't laugh at people, because like, I know I've said some of this, this, I know I've said some of the same silly stuff, so I try not to laugh and chastise people and pick on people, but y'all, some of this stuff is hilarious. It just, it just is. Like, we're going to hop right into this right now. So, backstory, of course, this person, then he, he, he didn't, his wife got fed up with this stuff. She said, uh, uh, she said, like, he'd been cheating on her. He's put his hands on her. A whole bunch of this, a whole bunch of this and that. And she finally got fed up, and she left him. You know, a lot of times narcissistic people are not prepared for you to leave. So if they're not, they don't want you to leave. They think, they think that they own you. So we're going to hop right into it right here, y'all. Okay, y'all. You busy? Good morning, beautiful. Long time. Don't hear from. Hope everything is well. I miss you, baby. I need to talk to you before I can't. There you go right there, y'all. You see this person is already, look, you busy? Are you too busy for me? I hope you're not. Like, am I still important? Like, it seems, that right there, you busy seems like it just means nothing. But that person is testing, the, they're, they're, that's a feeler right there, y'all. They're testing the waters to see how you feel. You know what I mean? Are you too busy for me now? Or are you still, are you still too busy? Or do I still mean anything to you? You know what I mean? Okay, then you go down to the the regular. Oh, good morning, beautiful. It's look, y'all. It's five a.m. Look at the time, y'all. The you busy? The you busy was at twelve thirty-eight a.m. These are witching hours, y'all. This person tried to put a hex on her, a curse on her, or something like that. Twelve thirty-eight a.m. and then five a.m. Good morning, beautiful. Are y'all up at five thirty a.m.? Yeah, I mean, some people are up at five, but like goodness gracious, long time no hear from. What do you think that person is doing? So she's been ignoring him. And keep it, you know, keeping about the kids, you know, just ignoring this person and just keep, literally keeping it about the kids and whatnot. So you see what he's doing. He's trying to weigh on her conscience. Long time don't hear from. So he hasn't been checking on his kids or anything like that. You know what I mean? Not checking on the kids, not doing anything like that. Uh, I miss you, baby. There you go. Playing on the emotions. Playing on the emotions. I miss you. I, I still love you. I still care about you so much. I need to talk to you before I can't out. That brought, oh my goodness. What does that mean, y'all? Does you see that stuff like that puts in somebody's head? Like he's he, he's about to go somewhere where he he will he'll be out of service area or out of you know out of life connection. Like this person about to send himself. It, it's ominous. It could mean I'm about to unalive myself, or it could mean I'm about to be incapacitated or go to jail where you won't ever hear from me again. That type of jazz right there. You know what I mean? So you see how that works right there. That's yeah. That's so terrible. The person now they're trying to use guilt. This, the nice stuff isn't working, so here comes the guilt. So let's continue. Call me, please. Check on me or something. Say F you, ninja, or something. This person, now he just wants some kind of response. He's begging for a response, y'all. Begging for a response. This person, like, he did some terrible stuff. Terrible, terrible, terrible things. Now he's begging for a response. Can I come home, baby? She done kicked him out. Now you want to come home. Look, no response. So he's trying to bait her into responding. So it's not working. So he just goes for the coup de grace. So now he's just going asking. Can I just like forget it? I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of the pleasantries. Can I come home? You know, I'm tired. It's cold out here on this park bench or where, wherever he is. You know, narcissistic people. They, they're straight to the point. He was trying to beat around the bush, trying to trying to I guess trying to love bomber, but like mini love bomb, a love pop, and then. You know, try to suck it back in there. Like, just straight up, can I come home? I need you, baby. I promise I'm going to get right. Answer the phone, please. So he's calling her. 5 a.m., y'all. 5 a.m. So he's calling her. Can he come home? I miss you. I need the ba I need you, baby. I promise I'm going to get right. So this person now, no, look, no actionable changes, no nothing. So he's he, this person, right, what did you say right there? Is he, he's admitting that he's been a terrible person for a long time. He's been doing terrible things. He knows he's been doing terrible things. But he's not apologizing for it. He just said, I'm going to get right. I'm going to get right, baby. Answer the phone, please. Please answer the phone. Please, please, please. Please answer the phone. I'm telling you. She's doing a good job of ignoring him. You know what I mean? But like, if you could block this type of person, you need to block him. 
If you don't have kids by a type of person that's sending you these messages, go ahead and block them. Because he seems like he has nowhere to go. Can I come home? Or or they're worried about you moving on really fast. And they think they think that they own you. So he doesn't want his property going anywhere else. And then like then so a few hours pass by, no response to it. Then two PM, baby, answer the phone. It's important. So now you're trying to create a sense of urgency. Time is of the essence. Like I'm going to go somewhere. I need to tell you something. If you needed to tell somebody something, you need to put it in a text message. But he's trying to either, you know, he's trying to hear her voice, let him or let her hear his voice, where he can start crying and begging. Like, but hey, like, hey, please, let me come home. Let me come home, please, 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 let me come home. I'm sorry, I've been changed. I promise. If y'all, the only, the only forgivable apology is consistent change behavior. Y'all literally be, be forgiving people just because they said sorry in a text message. No, no reason that they're sorry. No, nothing. Just sorry. And here, look, three thirty-six p.m. Same day, y'all. Listen to this, baby. You told my mom when you was at the hospital. I treated you bad because I was hungry and I was starving. What the hell? So your hangriness, your home, your hangriness caused you to treat this person badly. And she told your mom. She told your mom on you. So now you, now you embarrassed. You keep the narcissistic people want you to keep the bad things to yourself. Whatever they do to you in the darkness, they want you to keep it in the darkness. Don't bring it to the light, especially not to their damn mamas. You know what I mean? Here you go again, y'all. Look, this is throughout the day. So an hour later, no response. Can you text me? No, nothing else. Nothing begging. Y'all, this person knows that his ex is in control. She has the power. So he's trying to shift it back to him. Because so, if she texts him, he is in control. He has the power. Because then, so what a lot of people will do in this situation, if you text that narcissist or that toxic person back, they might not even respond to you. They might ghost you because all they're looking for is a response. All they're looking for is you to check in. You know, he might actually want to come home, but I'm just saying, a lot of them will go ghost on you and make you question yourself. Like, why did I even respond to him? You know? And then he says her name. Uh, this is late, later on at night. So he's been texting her for like 12 hours, 14 hours now, since 5 a.m. I thought you told me God got my back and you do too. Here comes the guilt trip. I feel the guilt bleeding into this conversation so this you don't want to deal with me stuff is crazy i love you woman woman women i love you women we know you love women and you act crazy like i don't have problems and you too what i'm trying to say is i need your help so this person just went in there from trying to guilt trip her and saying you said you what about the vows you took at the wedding what about the wedding vows that you took what about those you gonna go against God? You say you will always have my back, no matter what I did to you. So I don't care if I cheated on you. I don't care what I did to you. I don't care if I beat on you. You say you got my back, even though I hit you in yours. I whipped you across your back, but you say you got my back, but you don't. So you lied to God. You are you a God liar. You're not God fearing. You're a God liar. That's how terrible that is, y'all. And then I love you, woman. Uh, I'm uh, even though uh, so uh, you promised to God that you would want to, you would always deal with me. But now you don't want to deal with me? This is weird. So you lied to God, right? I'm, I'm telling y'all. Now, he calling her crazy and saying, what about the things that you did too? Here comes the compare and contrast. The niceness isn't working. The begging and pleading isn't working. So here comes the blame shifting and deflection. What about what you did? We both made mistakes. We, you're, your hands are not clean. You're not perfect either. I'm just human. I'm telling you, narcissistic toxic people, when the, every, they, he's, throwing, he's literally throwing everything at the wall now. The guilt not working. Nothing's working. So he's angry as hell, y'all. Literally angry. It did it thought, I need your help. You know, what I'm trying to say is I need your help. With what? With what, y'all? Here you go. I just want to be around you. You make me smile and and feel and got peace when you're not true. Look, I, you, I want to be around you. You make me smile and feel good and peaceful when you're not tripping. So this person just literally, just that's a veiled insult right there. He just made it sound like he gave her a compliment. Like, you made me smile so much when you're not tripping and, and not forgive me for cheating on your ass you, and doing terrible things for you and put my hands on you or whatever he's done to her, whatever they've done to you. He's trying to make it seem like she's crazy and she's she's foolish for not taking them back. And you got problems. So we both got problems. You need some help, too. Y'all see this stuff. Here you go. I got a lot on my mind. I just wanted to talk to you. You didn't just want to talk to her. You just asked her, could you come home? Now he's lying and making it sound like he didn't really, he, he's not asking for much. He just wanted a conversation. He just asked, could he come up? Y'all see this? Y'all see that right there? It's confusing as hell, isn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. It is. Here, here we go, y'all. I got surgery on the 15th. I'm scared. 
Now he's trying to create a Here you go again. The sense of urgency. He's trying to go back to remember the first text where he said, I just need to talk to you until before I can't. Now, he's like, I got surgery on the 15th and I'm scared. Scared of what? What are you scared of? I'm, I'm telling y'all. And then he says, forget it then. He, he wraps it up with a good old forget it then. And, and you know he kept you know he continued and kept going. But like I say, y'all, narcissist talks to people. If you don't if you don't have to talk to them, if you don't have to, you need to block that type of stuff. Because people like that escalate. If you give them a, you give if you give them a response, you lose. I promise you. There's the, this a game. Yes, it's a game, and you lose. I promise. So y'all, if y'all want to see me a text message uh to look at mental illness with three S's on uh Instagram. Thank you all for tuning in. Peace, peace, peace. Mental illness is up.